True about 6 years ago when my cousin, we will call him James, was 15, and I was 7 our parents left us to go to a wedding, they trusted him enough to babysit me for a while, so they could get to the wedding time. It was more of the parents' friends so we do not really have to come, and it seemed cheaper to leave us at home, it was sometime in fall, maybe the first week or so of November. He and I were playing games when there was scratching at the door, it was loud and animal-like, something or someone wanted to get in, James had gotten up and walked over to the door to look at who it was only to have the door kicked, it was like something wanted to break the door down. James had started to get nervous and he looked at me, he was scared, and today I still do not know why, he was completely silent, and he quickly ushered me upstairs, it was only around 7, but it was dark, and he insisted that it was my bedtime, he tucked me into my bed and went back downstairs. This was my aunt and uncle's house and they hunted, they had a small amount of guns, and I could tell that when James went downstairs again he went to grab one of the guns, I started hear loud shuffling outside in the leaves, and I called for him to come upstairs. He was up the next to my bed in less than a second with a gun in hand, I told him about what I was hearing outside, and how I was scared, he looked outside and said there wasn't anything, by then the scratching and kicking at the door had stopped. But I was still scared by someone trying to get in and hurt us, James stayed in my room and insisted we would be okay, I fell asleep, and from what I know so did he. At around midnight the shuffling again and it was in the house, I immediately started to cry, and that woke James up really fast, he got up and walked out of the room and stood at the top of the stairs, seconds later I heard him shoot something and a scream. He ran right back into the room and blocked the door with everything he could find. I was still bawling my eyes out and barely registering what was going on, James sat on the bed next to me and tried to comfort me, but I was having none of it, I kept wailing at the top of my lungs. A minute or so later there was scratching at the bedroom door, James grabbed his phone and called the police with me now trying to push him so Hess in front of me, I wanted to be far away from whatever that was, the scratching continued and it seemed like horde till the police arrived. The sirens were the thing to scare whatever that thing was. I do not remember much from what happened, and James only ever tells it when I'm not around, this is all I've got really. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.